how's it going youtube tech here and ios 26 is out for about a week now so i've already tested how ios 26 is on my iphone 15 pro all the major features and changes but like i said i want to take a look at the new apple intelligence features entirely in a separate video so that we can talk about those in details so this is that video so it's the same you know 15 gigs for the very first time that big of an ios update for the developer beta one so let's get into the new apple intelligence features that we get with ios 26 well so not exactly like the previous ios 18 we had like tons of apple intelligence features regardless of usefulness anyway so there are some of them not many and even among those some of them i won't be able to show you because i don't have any other phone and any person to talk in some other language because we have new language live translation models that I'm going to talk about later. So let me just show you what I can first show you with the new Apple Intelligence features in iOS 26. So if you remember with iOS 18.4 Beta 2, we got Visual Intelligence for iPhone 15 Pro models and we got this. So there's a new feature in the Visual Intelligence with a screenshot. So Samsung had this feature earlier with a complete spoken voice assistant. Uh, it can reply you and search stuff what it sees on the screen and even through the camera. But it's quite different for iPhone. So let me show you how it works. It's not that big of a deal. So let's say I go to photo and here is one of my sketch. So you take a screenshot. And then you will see two new options called ask and image search. So here are two stuff that you can actually do with visual intelligence. So it's actually able to see what's on your screen and search images similar to that one or you can ask if you have any queries. So it can work, you know, how you can add events to your calendar or stuff like that. Ask about a photo or if there is a something on a photo that you want to buy, then you can simply go ahead and take a screenshot and ask where you can buy it. So it will give you that link. So that's what we saw in the Apple Intelligence WWDC 25 demo. So you can see it says that it looks like an artwork. So let's see what happens if you click this. And it's of course going to, you know, continue. So here it gives you a, some kind of that what it does. So if you just tap continue, well, it does not find a result. But anyways, we can ask. So let's say, first of all, I want to ask. So who is she? So let's see if it can detect by sketch and answer this simple question. All right. If you're not an anime folk, you might not get it. But let me tell you, this is very much correct. So let's see if we can have an image search. All right, so it does find sketches, not an actual anime character, but the sketch of that anime character. So it works quite precisely. But also it's not just that. If you want to focus something on the part of the screen, you can simply highlight by swiping to, you know, just find what object you're gonna find. So it will find that too again, like that. But this time it's not exactly very correct. So I think it's still in beta, might get better. But this is something new we got in the Apple intelligence, visual intelligence, I mean. Then we have a new option in the MS Playground. So if you go to the Playground app, and if you remember, you used to create emojis, genmojis, and some other themed expression, stuff like that. And in a previous iOS 18 beta, we got a new illustration called the sketch but now chat gpt comes in the image playground so if you click chat gpt it gives you six extra styles of how you can create an image directly using chat gpt so if chat gpt is creating this image it should work a little bit better so i don't know what to say here it's like you know apple is working with chat gpt or is it apple is developing their own image generation models so is this a same output of course no this is just a chat gpt integration so you know it's there you can just select any kind of art you want so let me just select a vector and type a very simple command and that's it it takes quite a while to generate though so let's see all right so it took around two minutes and this is the kind of result we got of course you can make changes to it and still it's in beta so 
I don't know what to expect right now, but this is this. So this is something that I can't show you directly as a demo in this video, but this is one of the last but not very least. It's called live translation. So it's available in the iMessage and FaceTime. So what's how it works is you can see this photo over here. It says if you get a text in any language, it will translate live in your preferred language and it will show you the output so that you can see understand what the other person is saying and once you send it in your language type it to the person and it will show them in their preferred language so this is what it's gonna look like in the iMessage but if you are in a FaceTime call it's a very live thing you know so once you are in a FaceTime call and someone starts speaking some other language so right about here you will see a small transcription live transcription box that will show you a subtitle of what they are saying and a translation right underneath it so that you can read and understand what the person might be saying and then you can just speak in your language and the person from the other side on the FaceTime will see it translated live in their language so that's the kind of you know subtitle kind of live translation transcription thing will happen and you will be able to have a conversation with the language that you don't even speak or understand so this is something that we got with live translation and apple intelligence in ios 26 so i think these are the pretty much major features of the apple intelligence in ios 26 and i don't believe the existing other ones have any improvement or any kind of you know a new feature added for example in the writing tools you can see it looks entirely the same it's exactly the same there's no new feature here so there's no new feature in any other apple intelligence feature we got in ios 18 and you know talking about siri 2.0 they completely ignored it they never even mentioned the word siri about the apple intelligence in their wwdc 25 well that's something so this is pretty much it for this video thanks for watching See you guys in the next one. Peace out.